green monster is certainly added to uh, not just for Ohio Northern students, but for everybody. Uh, certainly Freed Center was built for that. The, uh, uh, the inn was built for that. Uh, uh, Dickey, for example, it's used by uh, outside people on occasion. I mean, they rent it. They pay for it. They don't always, I wouldn't say they get to use those kinds of facilities for nothing, but uh, so, yeah, I'd say. And there's a duck pond installed. There was no duck pond installed. What's, what's the duck pond? The pond with the bridge behind the Okay, that was, that was created when they built Freed Center. And they didn't build the pond right. I told them then, and and now we see the result. Drawing that pond. Well, if you really want to build a nice pond, you don't put big chunks of limestone on the banks. You know, you build it in such a way. First of all, you cover the bottom with river gravel, and uh, you essentially let the grass go right up to the the water. Now they do this because it's lower maintenance, they think. And uh, but that was built under uh the Freed administration and he th President Freed thought it was it added some natural attraction to the area. And it did. It did. But now it's become a haven for geese and ducks and carp. And swans. And the, and the swans. Yeah, you know, the black swans. So it's, and the, the, I guess there are Muscovy ducks over there now, which need to be eliminated. Why? Well, because they're, they're not native. Uh, well, it's not that they're not native, but apparently they're very aggressive. Muscovies tend to be very aggressive. Towards the swans, towards the other oh, ducks. The other ones definitely don't want them. Well, and the, they apparently keep the other ones from eating. And that I haven't been over there to re actually observe it, but I've kind of had the, been charged with taking care of those guys. But I don't personally do it. But mm -hmm. Tam the Tammy, swans came? the black swans came from Dicky. The um, Mr. Dickey won, um, and he had them on his, he has black swans, raises them on his estate in New Bremen, and uh, he gave them to us. How much did they cost? Nothing. How much did it cost to replace them now if you wanted them back built? Um, well, probably nothing if we got one of his. He is a full-time swan keeper. Mm -hmm. um, but if they would, if you went out and bought them, those are actually, the black ones are Australian swans. Mm -hmm. And so they probably cost you 100 maybe maybe 200 I don't know. I'm, I'm, we had white swans at one time. And um, I brought in the U.S. government animal control people. So we were trying to get rid of the Canadian Canada geese. And uh, as a result, we sprayed the area with this grape chemical, and it ended up killing <laughs> the white swans. So, yeah, but the guys from uh, Denver show us how to do it, and they killed the white swans.